In this video, we will show you how the windows are actually managed in Automation Studio with the dockable feature. As you can see now, the, the library is docked into the software interface. So if we have some components on the sheet, and we zoom all components, they will actually fit in the working space of the software. If you want, you can actually take this library by clicking on the top where it says Main Library. You drag it, and this will automatically undock the window into the interface. So now you can move the window around and place it wherever you want. Keep in mind that if you zoom all components now, they will actually be behind that library since it's now floating over the interface. To put it back at a docked position, simply move the library and you will see that some arrows will actually show up on the screen. When you position your cursor on these arrows, it will tell you where you're going to dock that window. So I want to put it left, come on this arrow, draw, let go the button, automatically the library was docked back in place. And now if I zoom all component again, they will all be visible. Let's erase those. Now also on this library, as you can see, there's like a push pin right here. If you click that push pin, it will automatically roll the window on the side. So if you go in the library, it will roll out. You can navigate through the library, take a component, and then it's going to automatically roll back on the side. Sometimes if you need more space, this is a good way of doing it. So if you want to open it and it stays open, you just click that push pin again. And now it's docked back into the interface. Same thing for the Project Explorer. If you uncheck the push pin, it will roll out. And if you go over it, it's going to just roll back out. Let's say if we want to display the Variable Manager window. We'll go in Tools. Variable Manager. So this is the window where we see all the variables of the software. In order to dock this window, I can move it. You see again the arrow. I'm going to dock it to the right also. So now it's on the right side. And if I uncheck that push pin, it's going to be roll. And now as you can see, I have two windows accessible from the right side. To remove it from there, I need to pin the push pin and move it away to close it. This enable a lot of flexibility in the software, making the environment the way that you want and making working with Automation Studio as efficient as possible. Thank you for your time and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.